ninawasalimu nyote katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Amen. Amen. Eh, hey, naona mnayo furaha. I see that they were very joyful. Yesu alitenda mema. Did lots of good things. Hata walipomtesa so when they persecuted him tulikuwa tunakombolewa we were being redeemed at that moment kutoka kwa shetani pale from the devil then ndio sasa tuko hapa that's why we're here now tunatafuta mambo ya rohoni we're seeking the spiritual affairs kuna dhambi there's this sin ambayo inafanya mtu which makes somebody mazuri ndio haya na haingi he sees the nice things here but he can never get them dhambi ya kujihesabu bora the sin of esteeming one much better hiyo dhambi ni mbaya sana. That sin is very evil indeed. Hiyo dhambi ni mbaya. That sin is quite evil. Kujiona unafaa. Seeing yourself very useful. Kujiona si kama wengine. Seeing yourself you are not like other people. Wawili walienda kanisani. Two people went to church. Kwenda kusali huko. They went there to pray. Hai. Okay. Mmoja akaanza. One started. Baba nakushukuru. I thank you father. Mimi si kama watu wengine. I'm not like other people. Kwa nini? Why? Mimi natoa zaka. I give my tithe. Tena mimi huchukua maombi ya kutokula. And I fast always. Tena sadaka na peana sikosi kanisani. And I give her alms and I don't Mimi si kama church. huyu mtoto ushuru. I'm not like this tax collector. Amina. He said I'm not maombi ya. Finish his prayers. Oh. What? Wewe well, usikiaje maombi kama haya? I feel such prayers, eh? Mimi si kama watu wengine. I'm not like other people. Haya. Okay. Yule mwingine naye akaingia maombi. The, the other one also started praying. Akasema, "Eh Mungu, he said, oh God. Uniwie radi. Me. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Sina. Sifai hata kuangalia huko. I'm no good. I cannot even look up with there." Huyu aliondoka kwa na nyumbani amehesabiwa haki. This one left to go to his house being justified. Tukitaka kuokoka. If you want to be saved. Tukitaka Mungu atuokoe. If you want God to save us. Mungu akae karibu na sisi. That God would may remain Mungu with us. Mungu akukubali manyonge. You must accept the weak things. Watu hawataki manyonge. People don't want any weak things. Watu makubwa makubwa. People want very great things. Makubwa ni ya Mungu. Those great things are of Sisi yetu ni yale madogo yale. Our ones are the small ones too. Ili Mungu aje hapo. For God to come there. Apate kutuokoa. He may be able to save us. Amen. Amen. Hebu tusome. Let us read. Kwa Korintho wa pili. 2 Corinthians. Mlango wa 10 na 2. Chapter 12. Na ye akaniambia neema yangu ya kutosha maana uweza wangu hutimilika katika udhaifu. Basi najisifia udhaifu wangu kwa furaha nyingi ili uweza wa Kristo ukae juu yangu. Kwa hiyo napendezwa na udhaifu na ufidhuli na misiba na adha na shida kwa ajili ya Kristo maana ni wapo dhaifu ndipo nilipo na nguvu huyo ni paulo that is paul ni mwanadamu yeye he is a human being lakini alifanya utafiti mkubwa sana but he's done a very great research na watu wengi hawataki hiyo and many people don't want that sort of thing wataka kuitwa wewe ni mtu wa ajabu they want to be called very wonderful people duniani hakuna mtu wa ajabu kama wewe there's no other wonderful man like you on this earth kama ambiwa hivyo even if that last word kama hujapata kikombe cha chai hiyo utasikia njia inakuuma if you haven't get a cup of tea you feel hungry all the same lakini ili mungu afanye kazi but for god to work tunakubali haya manyonge we accept these weak things tunakubali manyonge accept the weak things bwana yesu alikubali the lord jesus accepted aliposaliwa when he was born watoto wengine hawajasaliwa hapo so many children have never been born there but he was born there ulimwengu upate kuokolewa the world to be able to na unaona ulimwengu umeokolewa na yeye the world is saved by him kwa kuwekwa kwake msalabani juu pale put on the cross up there alikuwa naokoa ulimwengu he was saving the whole world Lakini ukitaka Mungu afanye kazi. But if you want God to work. Kubali haya manyonge. Just accept these weak things. Watu hawataki manyonge. People don't want weak things. Hata akiulizwa je unafanya kazi wapi? So when he is asked what do you work? Hema mimi nafanya hapo airport. He always says I work at the airport. Hai hai shughuli mpaka mimi na yonea bendera hapo. No plane, no plane gets down before I raise my flag there. Ah basi wewe kumbe. Kumbe wewe huna wasiwasi. So you're not worried at all. Kumbe hata ni mtu akufagia fagia. And there's just a sweeper there. Yeah. Wa. Mimi nataka huko kufagia fagia. I want to go on sweeping there. I just sweep around. Alafu Yesu anasema, And then Jesus says, wangu, mtoto wangu. Come to me my child. Paulo anasema, Paul says, Ni wapo daifu. Whenever I'm weak, ndipo nina nguvu nyingi. That's when I become very strong. Nguvu za kungoja wokofu. Strength to wait for salvation. Nguvu za kungoja baraka. 
strength to wait for blessing. And those blessings are there, my dear brother. But people don't want weak things. They want very glorious matters. Uh -uh. Oh no. Glory comes from God. Let's just accept. A girl. Don't say I want to be married to a young man who is like this and like this. I married mine. If she had made her plans, I don't know them. But today we are together. Kabisa, completely together. There's no fire in, in, a, in us. But one, when he, he gets to the house, he wants think many things to be on the way. And because of that ha habit, you get to your home and you find a one shoe is there. Who did all this? Your mother would ask, What is it? So this is my shoe. Oh, they are your children. The children don't know those things. It's you. We must accept the way things are. All the same. That's what we find many a time. People are defeated to receive the Holy Spirit. Because people who want to see the glory, this one who does want these things, the man of God. I want, don't want people to do this for me. I don't want anybody to do this for me. And the boundaries always cause fights. If you want any fight, go to the border. Go to the boundary. You go, you can't and there's a, 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 a a beacon there, that's the book. Okay, you know, if you remove you you here, the owner of that farm comes there also. You know, she follows you in the evening. I followed you. I've seen you going beyond the border or beyond the border. But I can't wait in my I know, don't say that. You better come and remove your trees. Without that, you'll see me. Okay, no Holy Spirit will be received. Because they have their own spirit. But then, my dear brother, you want the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit comes to a place where one will accept the weak things. One who accepts weak things. He doesn't look for great things. I, I didn't look for preaching when I was I was a cook of the preachers. And the other workers. I would wake up very early. At 6 a.m., tea is ready. I wake them up and say, wake up, tea is ready. Tena and, to and I did it wholeheartedly. Someone who God said one day, he called his church elder. Tell Emmanuel that he should go to Mabila and preach there. I was told, I refused. I didn't refuse because I didn't want it. I said, no, I don't deserve. The preachers are there, aren't they? That's how I found it. In my heart, I was pointing at somebody that, that one is there and the other one is also there. But they didn't stop it. Shall I go to preach? Amen. Oh no. I refuse completely. I said the preachers are there. I just do my work. I told the church elder. Mimi. I. I've volunteered to do the work of the church. Here are the keys for the kitchen. Even if the preacher comes at 2 a.m. and wake up and cook for him. But going to preach, I'm asking forgiveness. I won't go. What? What? The church elder returned. Then that one is still refusing. Then he said, no, he'll go, just leave him. Pole, 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 bit by bit. Yeye, because he, ni he is the founder. Pole, pole. He followed me very slowly. Nikakuta, siku moja, I found myself catching a Bible going to that side. <laughs> Basi then I went. I returned. I informed him. He told me now you are refusing. I'm a preacher and you are leaders. But well. maybe I will not be given that message. Okay, who will speak that message? Therefore, the work of God should not be left out. He repeated there. 
Amen. Amen. Leo tutaomba Mungu. We shall pray to God today. Unajua mwenye nguvu. You know any strong person. Hakuna mtu anamuweza. There's nobody who can disable him. Sasa wewe ukiwa na nguvu za Mungu. Now while you have the strength of God. Rohoni mwako. In your soul. Kila ubaya utakaoenuka. Every evil that stands stand before you. Hauwezi kukutawala huo. It can never overrule you that evil. Paul anasema si mimi tena. Paul says I'm no longer the same. Ni Kristo ndani yangu. It is Christ in me. Sasa. Now then. Jioni ya leo. This evening. Wacha kesho. Not tomorrow. Hii jioni ya leo. This evening of today. Tuko hapa. We are here. Tutamuomba Mungu. We shall pray to God. Atushe ashushe roho wake mtakatifu. To descend to us his holy spirit. Wetu sisi sote. To all of us here. Na roho mtakatifu akishuka, and what the holy spirit is saying, the saints. Utakuwa na mabadiliko makubwa maisha ni mwako. There will be so many great changes in your life. Utakuwa na mabadiliko makubwa. There are very great changes. Ujaomba wewe siku moja. You have one day kwa moyo huo in that heart. Ujione wewe hufai seeing yourself useless. Dhambi yangu ilikuwa ni makubwa. My sin was for great things. Ndio unayatafuta moyoni mwako. The things I was seeking in my heart. Nisionekane ni mnyonge. I should not be seen as a weakness. Leo kama utakubali jioni ya leo. Today if you like this evening. Umwambie Mungu nimejua kizuizi changu cha cha mema. You tell God I'm known my hindrance for, for my good. Ni mtu wa makubwa. I'm a man of great things. Umwambie Mungu niokoe sasa. Just tell God set me now. Na ili niweze for this for you to be able achilia roho wako mtakatifu just release your holy spirit nipe roho wako mtakatifu give me your holy spirit mwambie mungu nipe roho wako mtakatifu god give me your holy spirit na kisha kuja huyo and once that one comes in utatoka hapo umebadilika you leave this place having been changed umekuwa chombo kingine you become a very different vessel je watu wa mungu now then people of god mko tayari are you ready yes i am Baba wa mbinguni na kushukuru jioni ya leo siku ya leo tuko mbele zako wewe ndio uwezaye kuponya wewe ndio uwezaye kuokoa wewe ndio uwezaye kuachilia roho wako mtakatifu bwana kwa watu wako baba ni asante hivi sasa umeweka watu wako tayari bwana na wewe uko tayari bwana katika roho mtakatifu juu ya watu wako mwana wa mwingi wameishi maisha ya utumwa baba kwa kukosa roho mtakatifu naamini jioni ya leo waenda kuachilia roho wako mtakatifu na watu wako wataokolewa na watu wako watapona na watu wako watafunguliwa baba ni asante maana waenda kufanya hivyo katika watu wako baba nina kushukuru Mungu mkuu baba kaachilie angalia watu wako baba wanangojea Roho wako mtakatifu naamini tayari Mungu nawe umekuwa tayari baba kumpa kila mmoja yule ambaye amekushuhudia moyoni mwake Mungu baba asante kufanya hivyo sasa ndugu za right now my dear brethren Roho mtakatifu alikuwa hawezi kushuka the holy spirit could not descend kwa sababu dami iliyoko because the sin that was watu walikuwa na makubwa people had very sasa tunaenda kuomba now we going to pray kumwambie Mungu aachilie roho wako mtakatifu nikaweze kuwa chumbe kipya let me be able to become a new creature let's go hebu tumusi let us beseech god bana aachilie for the lord to release roho wako mtakatifu your holy spirit roho wako mtakatifu holy spirit roho wako mtakatifu Yes, 